Linktree tutorial 2022, how to set up and use Linktree. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your account on Linktree and use this as a launching platform for your new blog, website, uh, web page, or recipe book, or whatever you are looking to create. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on sign up for free over here on Linktree. So the link is actually linktr.ee. And then we're just going to click on register and we're just gonna begin signing up for our free account. Now, the best part about Linktree is that it is available for free, but it does have a premium version as well. So if you want to opt for the premium version, you can. But over here, I am just going to fill out my email and I'm going to enter a valid password. Now, after that, you're just gonna agree to the terms of service. And then we're just going to enter our username that we want. So I'm just gonna add my username and then I am just going to add something that is unique. Now I'm just gonna click on sign up with email over here. And now I can get started with my Linktree account. Now, first off, we're just gonna save our name. So I'm just gonna save up my name. Then I'm just gonna continue. Now you're gonna add the category that best describes your Linktree account. So if you are looking to create something for maybe your business, creative, uh, your creative endeavor, your educational uh, website or any kind of educational blog, then you also have entertainment, health, wellness, other tech, travel, tourism. So it could be anything. So we're just going to go with fashion and beauty and then we're going to make it clothing and accessories. Then you're going to verify that you're not a robot and we're just going to click on continue over here to get started with our Linktree account. Now you get to choose which plan we want. We're just going to start off with a free one to show you guys what the the actual uh, Linktree platform is going to look like. So we're just going to continue to our Linktree account. Now this is going to lead me to my actual Linktree dashboard. So from here, you're actually going to manage your Linktree account. But before I show you guys a detailed display or a detailed insight on what the uh, Linktree dashboard and how the Linktree navigation works, I'm just going to give you a overview of the basic plans on Linktree. So Linktree has a free version where you can link as many places as you need with unlimited links. You can customize your Linktree from a section with built-in themes. Then you can also embed video content and other digital media content directly onto your uh, Linktree page. You can also collect payments. You can track how many total views you have. But on their pro version, which starts at $6 per month, uh, you get emails and phone numbers that you can collect from your audience and use them in your email marketing. So that is one really uh, effective feature that I find really helpful personally. And you also have several different integrations you can do on the $6 pro version. And then they do have an enterprise version as well. So if you have a large business or a large agency, then you can take a look at their business version for features that are very heavy on user traffic. So if you have a lot of user traffic, then you definitely should check out their enterprise version so you can make the most out of Linktree. Now, going back to the basic dashboard of Linktree, you can see that on your top, you have your basic navigation. So you have your links, appearances, settings, analytics, and the pro features that you can find over here. Now, below that, you will actually get details about each of these things. So First off, I'm just gonna take a look at their basic dashboard and I'm gonna get started from their basic link. So we're just gonna open that up. We're gonna go back. And now you can see that on your left bottom, you have your account settings as well. And over the top of your account settings, you have your latest changes. So any updates that you will find, you can find over here. And after that, you have your help section as well. So these are help topics, get starting topics, ask a question or submitting your feedback. Now. If we click on links over here, we can click on add new link and then we can simply add like a basic title. Um, let's just say fashion blog like so. And then what we're going to do is we can add the URL dot 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 like this. And then you can see that this is obviously an unsafe URL, but you can do anything you want. So we're just going to add facebook.com like this. And then we can add a thumbnail. So we can click on add thumbnail and we can set a thumbnail or we can even use tabler icons. So you can just click on tabler icons and then we are just going to use this icon. And then you're just gonna click on add new link. And just like that, we have added a simple little link. So you can see over here now, this is how easy it is to create your little link. And after that, if you click on appearance over here at the top, 
you can just go on to the appearance section and now you can create different appearance uh, from the templates that are available but if you want to create a simple appearance of your own you're going to have to do that from the pro version so you can't create your own uh, customized profile appearances with the basic free version but you can just use one of their simple templates and then share it to facebook linkedin twitter whatsapp messenger uh, or any other social platform that you want so if we just click on a link tree x daniel friendly over here and now this is going to be the basic link setup of our little link and then we can go on to the settings section over here to change any kind of basic admin settings that we want so if we want to display any twitter handles facebook pages uh soundcloud urls or youtube urls we can add them over here and these would be posted on our actual link tree so if you just click on my link tree over here this would open your link trees where people can link and you can see I have like a basic little cute little linking system. So I added Facebook as my link and now it's going to just open up Facebook. Obviously, you can link your actual website or your actual recipe book, your actual whatever uh, kind of business you're running or whatever social media content that you're displaying. You're actually going to link that, but I've just added Facebook as an example. Now, if you go onto the settings, you can even see that you have your mailing list integration. So if you're using the pro version, as I said before, uh, you can collect emails and you can use them in your email marketing campaigns as well. And then you also have e-commerce integrations where you can start making money with your Linktree account. If you are posting sensitive material that, uh, that is exclusive for uh, people over 18, then you're going to have to uh, enable the sensitive material settings. So this will allow this. Uh, people to leave the website if they are under 18. Now after that you have your analytics section on a link tree. Now on the um, analytics section we're just going to open it up right now and once we have opened up the analytics section now you can see you have your lifetime analytics and then you have your general activity and e-commerce. So this is something that I really find helpful is that they have uh, separated the analytics. So first off, you have your views and then you have clicks. So how many people are actually just going on to this page and how many people are actually clicking on the page? You have that. Below that, you have your activity. So your activity is just the overall views and clicks you're getting over the certain amount of time. So it could be from day to day or week to week or monthly to monthly. But that is how you set it up. Then you have your e-commerce integration as well to see how much money you're making from your Linktree account uh, every month or every day and these are all features for the pro version on the free version all you get is basic lifetime analytics you don't get daily analytics on it but you can estimate your own daily analytics if you want but if you are running a larger business then the pro version is definitely going to be a lot more helpful so that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to set up your own Linktree account, choose the plan for you, and get started with linking your different social media content or platforms or anything of your choice. And to end it on a good note, I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well. And at the end, I would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps out our videos a lot. And again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, goodbye.